The SNP has today been thrown into deeper turmoil after the husband of former First Minister Nicola Sturgeon was arrested in connection with an investigation into the party's finances. A man understood to be Peter Murrell was questioned in custody today, but has since been released without charge pending further investigation. Police Scotland said officers were carrying out searches at a number of addresses, including at the couple's home, where detectives were seen with digging equipment in the garden and SNP headquarters. The 58-year-old resigned as the party's chief executive last month, following Queen Nick's seismic decision to step down as SNP leader just a month earlier. In July 2021, Police Scotland launched a formal investigation into the SNP's finances after receiving complaints about how donations were used. In the last hour, a spokesperson for Sturgeon said it would not be appropriate to comment on a live police investigation. Nicola Sturgeon had no prior knowledge of Police Scotland's action or intentions. Ms Sturgeon will fully cooperate with Police Scotland if required. However, at this time, no such request has been made. Scottish Labour's Deputy Leader Jackie Barley demanded that Sturgeon and her successor Humsey Useless quote, urgently state what they knew and when. And this is how Yousef, for a reminder, uh, he's Sturgeon's hand-picked protégé, reacted to Murrell's astonishing arrest. Reaction, as you'd imagine, uh, much like anybody involved in, in the SNP, is that this is a difficult day uh, for the party. Youssef also denied that this investigation was the real reason his predecessor resigned. Nicola's legacy stands on its own. Nicola's legacy, whether it's in relation to care experience in young people and keeping the promise, whether it's in uh, reducing and uh, tackling child poverty, uh, there are many legacies that she can stand on, and uh, I think uh, that's what she'll be judged on. But is this the reason that she stood down? No, I don't believe it is. I believe her very much when she says uh, how exhausted she was. I think anybody who watched her over the course of the pandemic did, doing those daily briefings day after day after day, I think anybody could understand just how exhausting uh, that is. So, no. I don't think this is a reason why Nicola Sturgeon stood down. Now, you know, I always like to be completely transparent with you. Uh, so let me be clear that Scotland's strong contempt laws mean very little can actually be said about this case on television at the moment. But Scots are already making their mind up on this sham of a separatist party. A poll by Redfield and Wilton from before the arrest found SNP support had plummeted to 36%, with Labour up 2 to 31%. So in such a difficult climate, what have the SNP flamethrowers decided to do? You guessed it. Cry racism for a term coined by me right here on this show. The nickname Humza Useless. Another failed MSP called Karen Adams said the phrase amounted to an absolutely disgusting racist trope. She wrote in the SNP propaganda outlet, The National, the terminology is used by racists to smear ethnic minorities all the time, lazy or useless. Which is pretty ironic, really, given the number of people within the SNP who believe Yousaf is too useless to lead the party after a succession of proven failures in the justice, transport and health briefs. Well, Hamza, you've had a number of jobs in government. When you were transport minister, the trains were never on time. When you were justice minister, the police were strained to breaking point. And now as health minister, we've got record high waiting times. What makes you think you can do a better job as first minister? One question I have is, uh, where are all the men? Do you regret not voting for amendments that would put rapists in women's prisons? Uh, no, I don't. Most senior positions in Scotland are filled almost exclusively by those who are white. The Lord President, white. The Lord Justice Clark, white. The Chief Medical Officer, white. The Chief Nursing Officer, white. Almost every trade union in this country headed by people who are white. In the Scottish Government, every Director General is white. Every chair of every public body is white. I'm just going to check the stats again. Scotland, that's right, a 96% white country. So uh, a message to the SNP extremist Karen Adams calling Humza useless. It's not racist. It's a fact. That nickname is the least of your falling party's worries.